in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Dear audience, this is Language and Linguistics Online. This is our second class about language and technology. In my last class, I talked about various ways in which we can make use of technology. And today I will be talking about computer mediated communication, CMC. Computer mediated communication is a communication that takes place between human beings via the instrumentality of computer. Remember it is not a communication between computers or computer based tools rather it is a communication between human beings but this communication will be carried out through the medium of computers or computer assisted tools. CMC is an emerging area within Cal domain. It occurs when learners use the computer to communicate with each other or even with the native speakers. It depends that whom the teacher has arranged for you. You can do the communication with your teacher. Teacher may be a native speaker or a non-native speaker. So it means that communication can be carried out through CMC with native speakers as well as non-native speakers. That communication takes place through different ways in the following elements. We will have to keep in mind that what kind of medium we are going to use, what is the time and what is the place. Have a look at this that we can have person to person communication or person to group communication through CMC. There will be a sender, there will be message and of course there will be a receiver. Mode can be spoken or written or pictures or videos, sound and animation or emoticons. Style can be formal or informal, it depends that how you are making use of computer in your language teaching class. What is the agenda of that particular class? Any teacher who comes to your class, of course, he or she has designed certain goals. And of course, for designing the goals, the teacher has made use of Bloom's taxonomy, where three different categories of goals, they have been talked about. So of course, the teacher will bring these goals from cognitive domain, behavioral domain or psychomotor domain. I am not going to go in detail about these goals but in some other lecture we may talk about them. Then there will be context that how the teacher has designed or determined the context as well. Whether the teacher is sitting in the university and the students are sitting in their homes, what is the time, okay, what is the place and then of course what he or she intends to teach. There are two types of CMC, synchronous in which the teacher will be live with the students and it has its own advantages and disadvantages. Asynchronous in which the teacher will not be live with the students. For example, the teacher can make use of a synchronous tool and that can be an email which is web one. So through email the teacher can send you a text message, a teacher can send you a video, a teacher can attach along with the message certain audio you know texts and in this way you can communicate with the teacher or teacher can communicate with you. On the other hand we have got in web 2 blogs and wikis and they have their own advantages and disadvantages. For example, the teacher can post something through a blog or the teacher can write something through a wiki and in this way students they can also give their answer. So the threads will be there to see that what is going on before, what went on before, what is going on right now, who, who initiated the discourse, who initiated the talk, what kind of assignment or task was given by the teacher, then what kind of responses are coming from the students. It depends how the teacher makes use of you know these wikis and blogs.
if he wants to give you the permission so you can give the answers and you can check what the other students are doing if the teacher does not want to give you this permission so then of course only you can see that what the teacher has said and only teacher can see what you have said it means that in CMC computer mediated communication they have got their own ways synchronous and asynchronous and they have their own advantages and disadvantages some of the you know computer mediated communication tools they will allow you to make the recording of what the teacher has said for example if you are making use of a skype or zoom or google classroom so if the teacher is interested the teacher can record the lecture of course the teacher is giving the lecture it is live at the same time it can be recorded as well for example even through youtube we can if go online the youtube will make a record of what you have taught or what you have said and then of course it can be uploaded and it can be made use of why do we need cmc for all of the cmc system you need a computer network connection for audio conferencing we need a microphone for video conferencing we need a video camera so these are some of the you know equipment that we require in order to teach through computer mediated communication tools now in this part i will talk about some of the advantages of cmc computer mediated communication breaks down geographical barriers to communication for example i also sometimes you know take join meetings through zoom for because i am one of the sage reviewers and sometimes they train their reviewers okay or they call upon us through zoom meetings so in this way i go online and i am sitting in pakistan so they are operating for example from uk or usa so in this way geographical barriers they are you know uh, removed and you can make communication with the people who are living far you know far far from you so it means that through cmc we can break down geographical barriers to communication it can enable collaboration through communication over distance number two people can exchange store edit broadcast and copy any written document of course we can exchange the document we can improve upon that document we can send videos we can receive videos we can send slides i can receive slides they can send data and messages instantaneously easily at low cost and over long distances of course it is you know not going to cost you so much it is not expensive so these are the advantages of cmc few status and position cues software for electronic communication is blind with respect to the virtual hierarchy in social relationship and organizations once people have electronic access their status power and prestige are not communicated as in face to face communication of course remember that people have their status people you know they have power and prestige so when you are online and you are teaching or doing communication people will may not come to know about your status or power on the other hand in online uh, in one on one classroom where students are there teacher is there of course you also come to know about the power that teacher can exert in the classroom or teacher can make use of so far as students are concerned now let me talk about some of the disadvantages of cmc number 1 inhibitions related to computer technology use problems with access to the technology more time consuming if the person is not literate if the teacher is not literate if the teacher is not expert in the use of these tools so of course it will become a time consuming job and it will become a kind of bur burdensome job for the teacher as well as for the students and sometimes in a country like pakistan where internet 
is not you know working at a very fast speed so people may have breakdown of the internet and in this way you know communication it also breaks down and it is one of the disadvantages of CMC an absence of regulating feedback lack of socio emotional and non verbal cues of course same is the case as I am teaching through YouTube so this is not the way that I teach in my real classrooms there are jokes there is fun in the classroom I make use of Urdu and sometimes Punjabi as well but when I come in front of YouTube channel of course these things are not there so such type of non-verbal communication you can miss through CMC in face-to-face -face communication head nods smiles eye contact distance tone of voice and other non-verbal behavior give speaker and listeners information they can use to regulate modify and control exchanges of course dear students when we are not face to face so maybe the kind of gestures that I make in the classroom the kind of facial expressions that I wear in the classroom and the kind of eye contact that I make with my students even on the in on the very first day when I am introducing myself and I'm asking my students to introduce themselves so sometimes I come across new names so I ask the students what is meant by this word and sometimes students they do not know the meaning of their names or some names are very unique or strange as well and this is a chance for the teacher to create fun in the classroom and of course when students are not sitting here so I am not asking about their names I am not creating any sort of fun so these are some of the disadvantages of CMC the lack of true human contact electronic communication tends to seem impersonal communicators must imagine their audience for at a terminal it almost seems as though the computer itself is the audience dear audience when the audience is not there of course it is altogether a different kind of teaching you cannot make eye contact no doubt if you are using synchronous CMC for example Skype or Zoom you can listen to the teacher live okay and at the same time you may see if the student has raised his or her hand and then of course you can stop and you can ask the student what is your question but usually such type of interactions you know they have their own limitations once you are done with the content then you may ask the students okay what are their questions in the classroom I ask my students anytime anything which pops up in your mind you can raise your hand and you can ask me a question so you should know the difference between uh, you know online teaching and you know live face-to-face -face classroom secondly you should know if you are making use of synchronous CMC it has its own advantages and disadvantages or if you are making asynchronous CMC it has its own advantages and disadvantages dear audience remember CMC is not a methodology CMC is just providing us with the tools of course in my last class I talked about second language acquisition theories educational theories educational concepts and ideas that a teacher should be familiar with the last type of postmodern approach which I discussed last time was interactionist approach so I would advise that we should make use of interactionist approach we should go for task based learning we should go for content based learning and it should be incorporated with CMC computer mediated communication and teachers should be well versed that how or what methodology he or she is going to adopt to convey the message to the students effectively 
and for this teacher should have goals teacher should follow certain rules and regulations and then you know there should be some time for delivery of the lecture some time for practice where teacher can see what the students are doing if they are working online teacher should ask the students that they should turn on their cameras so that teacher should see that what they are writing what they are doing how they are communicating with the teacher or with some other class fellows online with this i can summarize in this class i have talked about cmc i have talked about it advantages and disadvantages and i have talked about that how teacher can make use of cmc and integrate this approach with teaching and learning methodology thank you very much